Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The intuition aspect of your spirit, the seed of the intuition, the communion, and your conscience. Hallelujah. They are, they are embedded in your spirit. Your emotion, your will, and your intellect are embedded in your soul. Hallelujah. One day, when God permits, I'll speak about the spiritual man. Hallelujah. And we go into the various dimensions that the functions of the soul, the body, and the spirit. Hallelujah. And how the Bible said that the word of God is quick and powerful and is able to cut asunder the soul and the spirit. That means the soul and the spirit must not join. Hallelujah. For your spirit to have authority and dictate to the feel, your feelings. Your feelings, your emotions, you shouldn't live in the soulless realm where your emotions and your feelings dictate your actions. Hallelujah. You have to grow to a place where the, the, the activities of your spirit will minister to your soul. Where your soul begins to conform to the dictates of your spirit. And many Christians are soulish believers. Hallelujah. They live by their senses and their feelings. How they will pray when they feel like praying. Hallelujah. They will worship when they feel like worshiping. And it's everywhere. It's everywhere. But we need to grow. We need to let the sharpness of the word of God divide our spirit and our soul. And let our soul submit to the dictate of our spirit. Hallelujah. Where we will totally have full authority and command over our Christian life. Hallelujah. Now, every one of us here is anointed. Every one of us here is what? Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. Please read for me. And um, one, someone open Second, um, second, Peter, second Peter chapter 1 verse 10. And 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 9. And please open 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Let me lay the foundation before I go into the prize paying. 2 Timothy chapter 1, 1 verse 9. Who have saved us and called us with the holy calling? Who have saved us and called us? That means that if you are saved, you are what? Called. Every one of us hearing the sound of my voice, if you are saved and you are bought with the precious blood, you are called. Now, 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election Sure. Be diligent to make your calling and your election sure. Every one of us have been called. But there is an instruction that many are called but few are chosen. Though you have been called, you have not been chosen yet. For you to be chosen, be diligent to make your what? Your calling sure. Many are called. Many, many. Everyone that is born again is called. But few will be chosen, hallelujah, for a higher calling and for a higher assignment. So the Bible said in the house there are many utensils. Some are made of gold. Others are made of silver. Some are made of wood. Some are for noble purposes. Others are just for, you understand. And he that sanctifies and sets himself apart will be used for a noble calling. So you decide how God will use you. You decide the level you can go in the Lord. Yes, all of us are born again. We are all called. But they that give diligence to their calling and give a proof of their calling will be chosen for a higher calling. Hallelujah to Jesus. That is what the Bible said. Ministry is not a game. It is really not a game. Ministry is not a game. Because there have been many casualties. We have had great men rise and they fall. Men went to the battlefield and they got wounded and they are no more. Haven't you heard many start ministry and have fallen off the way? They are no longer in ministry. Hallelujah. That is why the Bible says we should be diligent to our calling. Hallelujah. We should be what? We should be what? It comes with a price. There is a price to pay for the anointing. The levels of the anointing, yes. On the general level, we are all anointed. But for you to go to the next level of your anointing depends on you. There is a price to pay. Without price, no power. Without price, no what? No power. If you want to walk in power, you have to pay the price for it. Yes, Jesus Christ has paid the ultimate price. But 
the same Jesus who was with the disciples said, go you to the world. But he told them to pay the price of waiting first. Wait until you are endued. There is a time, and we are, we are going to look at the, 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 the test God takes us through to entrust us with those power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. The first step, every one of us have an assignment. We have been called to do the work of God. Every one of us, one way or the other. The first step, you have to take when you are called, open your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. Proverbs 23, verse 26. I want, I will encourage all of you to pay particular attention. This, this is instructive, um, an instructive message. Hallelujah. And so you, you really have to pay attention and put these words in your spirit. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 26. Proverbs chapter 23, verse number 26. Mm -hmm. My son, my son, give me thy heart. Give me your heart. And God I needs your heart. He wants to make your heart his property. When God calls you, the first thing he asks of you is your heart. My son, give me what? Thy heart. Uh-huh, and what? And let thy eyes observe my ways. And observe the ways of God. When God calls you, number one, you have to give him your heart. And your eyes must observe his ways. You have to read his word to know the ways of God. That is the first step to fulfill your ministry and your calling. If your heart is with you, there is no way God can use you. But if your heart is with him, then you can be used for a noble purpose. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 2, God tries your heart. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10, God searches your heart. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 2, God ponders your heart. God is more interested in the condition of your heart. This one man of God, Charles Finney, one of the great prayer warriors of our, our time. The Queen of Scotland said, and there is one John Knox also, very powerful prayer warrior. These people, when they were unbelievers, they saw believers praying, praying, praying. But nothing was happening. They looked at their life and they looked at the life of the believers and they realized that they are the same. So why should I become a Christian and also pray the way you pray? And so when the Spirit of God came upon Charles Finney and he was saved, and Charles Finney used to pray in the woods, this man would pray and he would enter into shops and into factories and the machines would stop. Because the presence will be so strong that men and women will be convicted of their sins and they will come without a word coming out of the mouth of Charles Finney. And they will, they will begin to plead, what should we do? We want to be saved. This man of no he carried the presence. And so the believers of their days went to Charles Finney and said, Charles Finney, what is your secret? We pray, why, how do you pray that we, you, you receive instant resolve? And he said, it is not how long you pray, even though he used to pray for long hours, but the condition of your heart in prayer, the condition of your heart. Most of us are not having results in our ministry because the condition of our heart is wrong. And God is not like a man who cannot see your heart. He's not like a man. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles, the Bible said, God reveal himself. From Ezekiah, so he will know what is in his heart. And that time God calls any man, he tries your heart. He finds out what is in your heart. And so the rich man came to him. Master, I want to follow you. Go sell all your goods to the poor. He knew what the man liked. He said, go sell and come follow me. Hmm. One man came, fell, foxes have um, holes. Bed have nests, but the son of man has no place to lay. He said, but Jesus had a house. He was trying their heart. God had to try the heart of Abraham. Go kill your son. And when Abraham was about to say, hey, Abraham, don't touch that boy. I now know. God will always try your heart. And how he will try your heart, it depends on him. He can use anybody to try your heart. Hallelujah. And I want us to look at the test God takes us through to entrust us with power. Time. The first test is the test of time. Say time. Father, use me. 
God, use me. I want power. I want anointing. Hey. And you are so much fired up. And God said, yes, I will use you. Then he will put you in a shelf. Nobody will recognize you. You know you can preach. You know you can prophesy. You know you can do, but nobody recognizes you. God cuts you off for a while, ignores you. People don't respect you the way you want them to. God has placed you in a cell, and you are like marking time. The test of what? He will test you whether you know how to wait on him. Hallelujah. Abraham was 75 years when God called him. Gave him all the prophetic words. 75 years. The age of 100, then the fulfillment came. For 25 years, Abraham was waiting. Within that 25 years, he messed up along the way. Went into Haggai and gave birth to Ishmael. And there was a time Abraham was wanted to even give up. And said, God, let Ishmael be pleased with you. And most of us are in that state. We have waited so much that we are, we are settling for what we are really not called for. Let Ishmael please you, Lord. But God, there, there is a reason why God tests us with the test of time. That test is the season of silence. Where it's like nothing is happening in your life. You have done all you know to do. You have practiced all the prophetic actions in scripture. To move things, but nothing is moving. When we talk about prayer and fasting, you fast and pray more than anybody. But you know some brethren who eat more than you and they are breaking through. But nothing seems to be happening in your life. God is testing you with time. God called you long time before he called that guy. That guy came and he just broke through. God, what is wrong with me? I am more righteous than this guy. I know the in and out of this guy. He's a crook. But why are you still prospering him? The test of time. The test of time. And God will watch you closely. <laughs> there is a reason why he gives you that test. Hey, if you are full of yourself, God will suck Egypt out of you before he use you. Moses, when he was called to be the deliverer of Israel, he was in Egypt for 40 years. For a while. 40 years. And he went into wilderness for how many years? 40 years. God had to use 40 years to suck Egypt out of him. There is no way God can use you when you have the world in you. That is why he takes you. Now you wonder, how long will I wait when the world leaves you? There is a place where we must die. That is the place where we must die. God had to use the, pro, the, the test of time to bring Abraham to the place where he was not of himself anymore. He could not produce a child. Then when the child comes, you will know it was of the Lord. God wants to bring you to a place where your flesh will die because no flesh shall glory in the presence of God. That is why sometimes he takes us through the wilderness for 40 days. I will one day speak on 40 days. Very prophetic. You have to be there for your flesh to die. You know, we have to die. Say die. We have to die to our feelings, our emotions. This church, this end time church, we are full of flesh. Hallelujah. The power, that is why God has not given us, he loves us, that is why he has not released that power yet. Because it will destroy us. He can't put a new one in an old wine skin. It will bust it. It will. The reason why God is not using me the way he ought to is because my flesh is my flesh. And because it's your flesh. Jesus, when he was born, he was clothed with a swaddling cloth. The swaddling cloth was the cloth they used to embalm dead bodies. It was very prophetic that even at the birth of Jesus, he was identified with death. At birth, he was identified with death, with the clothing. That means that every now he died. Paul said, we die daily. We die daily. Ah, we die daily. 